Okay, so a good question was asked that whether IVC diameter can be taken as a marker of fluid responsiveness in patients who are mechanically ventilated. To understand that, we use three uh, indexes when we talk in terms of IVC. One is IVC variability, the other is IVC distensibility, and the third one is IVC collapsibility. So out of these two, out of these three, the first two, the IVC variability and the IVC distensibility, these should always be taken in context only when the patient is mechanically ventilated and sedated, there is no spontaneous breath. While IVC collapsibility can be measured or can be taken into context even if the patient is spontaneously breathing. So understand that if IVC variability is more than 12%, IVC distensibility is more than 18% and IVC collapsibility, if it is more than 40%, we say that the patient may be fluid responsive. But that doesn't mean that we need to give fluid in this patient. It only means that this patient can be fluid responsive and you can give fluid if the patient requires. So understand that IVC variability and IVC distensibility can only be taken in context when the patient is mechanically ventilated and sedated, no spontaneous breath. While IVC collapsibility can be taken into context even if the patient is spontaneously breathing. So I hope this clarifies. Do read more about it.